Yo, what's happening, man? Y'all know what it is. <coughs> no, you rockin' with cool. You know what I'm saying? You know you rockin' with your big dog, man. Listen, man. Uh, you gotta bite the bullet. You just gotta bite the goddamn bullet. You know what I'm saying? If you know you been with a woman, if you hurt her, put her through some shit. And y'all tried and tried and y'all tried and tried, but every other week it's some other shit. And you don't feel comfortable in your situation. And you keep thinking in your head, maybe I can come back to what I did, maybe we can work, maybe we just you know that was you know, we can we can get through that. That was that was some time ago. Now, you know what I mean? Like since that incident. Sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and go on and do what you gotta do. Because at the end of the day, uh, you hurt her. You know, you violated her trust. She really despised you in a way. She disgusted, like she mad. Because there's levels to this cheating shit. You know what I mean? So, you know, bite the motherfucking blood. And, you know, stop crying about how she be trying. You always want to argue. always want to do this. She don't know when to, she will uh, uh, do all that shit. If you don't violate the girl trust and put her in this position. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, you feel some type of way about you, the situation, the love she got for you, the trust. She, she, she feels some type of way. She feels some type of way about all that. Just going back my uh, Yeah, she feels some type of way about all that. You know? Uh, and as the doer of the crime, the cheating, you know? We just like, at this point, you know, we make excuses for the shit like, hey, you know, uh, I was honest, I was up front, la la la, you know, budget budget and the third, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want us to get through this, and you know, I, you know, I think we can, you know, I promise I won't do it again, let's just get through this. See, in our head, we thinking, uh, you know, we need her to recover rapidly. You know what I'm saying? That's in our head. We need her to recover rapidly. We want things to get back to normal. We don't want her to be hurt no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how we thinking. You know what I'm saying? But in all reality, uh, you know, it takes time for her to actually process everything and through that time y'all still living together and you thinking in your head you wanted to go better she thinking in her head how the fuck could you do this you probably still doing it i don't know this shit ain't gonna work this this that third if you're a two-time offender then you know you put yourself deeper in the hole but if you just did some shit one time you got in trouble you got brought to the light if you honestly Truly for you know sorry for what happened whatever whatever y'all work it out. But you know if you only sorry that you got caught, it will eventually show in your behavior because you gonna do this shit again and it eventually will like just you know you'll be angry toward the one you cheated on. You know what I mean? Because you know you cheated. And you can't get her to be that same girl she was to you before you found out. Before she found out, you know what I mean? You cheat. So that right there, I already put you in a bind because this is your partner. This is the person you're in a relationship with. You probably live with this person. You be with this person every day. And now... You done put her in a situation to where she rethinking all that shit. Refilling all that shit. 
especially if she got a nigga already in her ear talking to her, her boyfriends, you know, that she cool with, that she gonna run to when y'all got problems and shit, and tell every motherfucking thing, and he gonna seem like a, a philosophy type nigga, cause he can just listen and analyze and talk, cause he ain't dealing with the shit. That's a whole nother, you know, fake macaroni pimp ass nigga. Niggas that just brainwash the females and that's cool. I done did shit in my day too, I ain't tripping. But, you know, you know, that's another that's another video. That's for the chick that's cheating or the chick that got shit going behind your back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get at y'all. But, 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 <clears throat> nah, reality. You done broke her trust. You done hurt her. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she this she needs uh she need time, but if she really love you, want to be with you, and willing to deal with everything and get you know try to if y'all get professional help, that shit can take like two to three years for her to possibly start. You know opening up to be like, you know what, I do love you and forgive you for that shit. You know what I mean? Like, it hurt it, but there's a little but. See, this thing about it, it's, uh, they got statistics on it, man. It's, it, it is what it is. That, 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 that's generally how long it takes for a woman to kind of come back from a, a, a trauma, a, a trauma type situation. You know, and when you cheat on a girl, for some reason, you give her trauma. Um, yeah, especially if she in love with you. You know, you cheat on her, you give her trauma, like you give her some type of, you know, maybe, you know, cause they say women can do a lot at one time. Maybe, you know, mm, that's like a, a fucked up shutdown button in her body when her brain processed that. You no, know, this the evidence. He cheated. You, you you do something to him, bro. You know. You know, you do something to him. And like I say, now she gotta go through the recovery process. You wanna go through the uh, you know, speedy trial. You know what I'm saying? You wanna go through speedy trial, you wanna hurry up. Hell no, nah. she want a lawyer. She wanna take this bitch to bitch, the Congress. She she wanna show you fuck if it take 15 years. She wanna know, like, everything. How could you do it? Why did you do it? When did it happen? How long y'all been talking? How do you know her? Everything, nigga. That shit turns into, man, god damn. You know, I, I just, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, it, it, it is gonna be what it's gonna be. Like, you you know what I mean? You start to get attitude with the shit, you know what I mean? Because for one, you in the wrong. For two, you know, I mean, god damn, you, 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 you I mean, you gotta shame yourself right now. You gotta admit your crime, you know, to possibly someone you really got feelings for because if you don't really got feelings for you fuck that shit man i'm gone i ain't telling you shit i'm get my stuff my or get your shit this is my house get out you know but if you really got feelings for you know you, you yeah you might go on and break down and talk to them but but see the you know a lot of niggas i'm a i'm gonna I'm do all this and i'm gonna be real when it come to that cheating shit, it's, 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 it's different groups, you know. It's real cheaters that, you know, got families, lives, a wife over here, kid, well, girlfriend, kid. He take care, he helping. And, you know what I'm saying, all that shit right there, you know what I mean? It's real cheaters, you know. And then, you know, you got um okay you'll say okay oh, real cheaters and then you got cheaters that's you know only sorry they got caught cheaters 
you know what I'm saying? Repeat offender type cheaters, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, hey, like I just told you, the shit caused trauma. So now that's double trauma. Now you really done fucked up. Now she really fucking hate you, dog. So, I, I done got way off subject, but I, I wanted y'all to kind of like get a vision of what I'm saying, what you do to them when you hurt them. And then when you say, okay, I'm gonna wanna, I wanna, let's try to make it work, let's try to make it work. But you the one that done cheated and she gotta look at you every day. You wanna act like, baby, I love you, baby, you did it. But bitch, you done cheated and in her head, Mm, I would say she's thinking. When she's looking at you, she's thinking when she's driving. When she mother, she's thinking about that shit. She can't let it go, especially if she really, really, really loved you, was into you, was willing to be faithful to you. Women think about that shit. That's what I think. That's another thing I think, like, hurt their head. I, like, kill them in their brain with it when they find out somebody cheated on them because they really was going to be faithful. Probably already done turned down on some niggas. That was trying to get at them because they fucking with you. And then you do that to hurt them. Oh, bitch, you got a problem. So now you trying to prove yourself to her again, you know, for your first time offenders that I, I, I you know, uh, you know, I can do better, I'm gonna do better, we gonna, we gonna work it out, we gonna work it out. And, 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 you know what I'm saying? And she kinda like, I don't know, I don't know, boo, I don't know. And then, you know, probably about that second day of you calling, calling, texting, telecom, she kinda give in and say, all right, we gonna, we gonna try, but why you did this, why you did it? How could you, I do this, it's all the questions. And then, next thing you know, she's not gonna do what she used to do for you. She's not gonna talk to you how she used to talk to you. She's not gonna check on you how she used to check on you. You know, she used to fold your clothes and shit. Nah, she don't even fucking do your laundry. And you, like, to you, it's like, damn, you don't want, you, why you don't wanna cook? I don't even in the mood to cook. I don't feel like cooking. I'm tired. Like, da, 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 da. No. You cheated. She fucking really don't wanna be with you. But, I mean, you are that guy that she say she was gonna be faithful to. You fucked up, she did. Maybe you won't do it again. They are gullible, they women. They can have any man they want if they really, you know what I mean, damn near, you know, present themselves. you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, I ain't, I ain't talking about, you know, you being a woman wanting the baddest man, you know, he can, I can just, you know, I'm just saying, like, if a woman really, really wants you, she in your age group, she know a little bit of something about you, she's gonna fucking get you, bro. If she can, if you, okay, if you cheated on her, you want her to be that same girl before she knew you cheated. And you want a speedy trial, you want her to hurry up and get them feelings back. You know, you found out about it. I was honest. I was up front. I don't fuck with her no more. I even changed my number. I'm, I'm focused on you, baby. It's all about you. And you just ready for life to continue on. You're like, damn, I did fuck up. But I ain't gonna never do that again. You know what I mean? Dude? But at the end of the day, that shit, you traumatized them. In a way, you traumatized them. So she might be insecure. She might not trust you. She might not do the things she used to do. <clears throat> Ultimately, she doesn't like, she don't like you the same. Like, uh, in all in all, she don't like you the same, but, you know, like I say, she, she, she did tell herself at one time she was going to be faithful to you. And the fault is not on her, it's on you. And she's really going to try for you because she's fucking faithful. But, you know, she's going to deal with her triggers or emotions. So, all right. Back to the like the whole sum of it. Don't be that nigga crying that she ain't the same girl prior to you her finding out that you cheated. Don't be the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Don't be the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, all us will all every nigga go through it, you know what I mean? Every nigga, you know, you can't tell a nigga shit when his emotions involved. You know, we just can analyze when 
you know, we ain't in that situation and just keep it real. Like, you know, you know, don't, don't, don't be, don't be with the bullshit. Like, damn, man, like, why, why you doing this? Why you doing that? Why you, where you at? You know, why you ain't answer the phone? Why you ain't tell me that? I text you two hours ago. What the fuck? You cheated. So she'll talk to you when she want to. You kind of like getting on her nerves, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, so don't, don't be, yeah. Or you gonna have that type that's, where you going, what you doing, sit your ass down, don't go outside, don't do this, don't, don't, don't go over there, don't do this, don't, you can't drive over here, you can't, you, 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 you ain't got no license, huh? Yeah, you gonna have one of them motherfuckers. Cause you gonna give in to that shit and be like, you know what, I want this to work, baby. I'm sorry, I ain't gonna know what you can. Like, you know, what you want me to do, what you, how you want me to, you feel me? And, you know, she gonna say something to you one day about some shit. It's gonna be a little harsh. And if you eat that shit, it's just gonna get worse and worse. You know what I'm saying? She's just gonna get harsher and harsher. You know what I mean? She's gonna start going in on your ass. And that shit lead to other shit. So if you know you cheated and you had a good girl, she was faithful to you, and you traumatized her, bite the bullet, nigga. You know, bite the bullet. You know, be uncomfortable to get comfortable. If you got a goddamn, be homeless, be homeless. You know what I mean? If, if you, if, whatever, how, whatever you got to do, you know, endure that shit for a little bit. You know what I mean? Because while you out there on your journey, you're going to be thanking your life steady going on. Other doors are going to evolve and open for you. Don't be scared to, uh, you know, accept your losses. You know, don't make your situation more toxic than what it is. If you know you did wrong, bite your bullet, man. Just accept it. Move on. Don't, don't. Don't stay in a situation to where, uh, you know, you feel like, damn, she be talking to me crazy every day, but every day she say some slick shit about, wow, wow, yeah, 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 like I'm a little ass boy. Why, why, why to stay in that shit, man? Why to stay in it? And you know you did wrong to give her that attitude to be that way? And bite the bullet, man, get your ass on. And it ain't like a duck and hide type thing, like dodge a bullet. It's like, shut up, nigga. You caused this shit. Learn the process of what she got to go through to rebuild herself. You know what I mean? Like, shit take time. I say, you, yeah, yeah. So you want a speedy recovery. You want her to just, you know, accept everything you say. And, you know, y'all move on. Nigga, three weeks later, nigga, y'all going to be probably just doing whatever around the house. And she was like, hold on, I got a question. When ba 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 that shit, but yeah, I'm gonna go away, bro. She always don't think about that shit. Cause if the shoes was on the other feet, if you was with a girl, you know, you liked her, she was nice, you know what I mean? You you and you told her, yo, you know, I'm gonna be faithful to this woman, I'm gonna take care of her, I'm gonna try to get her the nicest things I ever can, you know, I can I can afford. And one day, you know, at your house, her house, however the case may be, you walk in, she, you know, bent over, letting a nigga kill her, she, you know, or eating a nigga dick up, or even better yet, probably eating a nigga ass or something. And when you walk in there, you know what I mean? Weird, some weird shit. You know what I mean? Like, you go, that's still gonna be your old lady. You gonna try to make it work? You gonna try to, like, erase that shit out your head? Like, if that doesn't matter, I want you type shit. And we gon' yeah. The same shit they go through. You know what I mean? And I just gave you, you know, the image of walking in on it. You know what I mean? Other, You know, they might just find some shit in the phone, like, you know, that say some shit. Oh, the other night was nice. What the fuck was the other night, bitch? Where you were? And they go crazy out that shit. But to actually walk in on some shit, see some shit with your own eyes or whatever. Or probably get a text with some shit like that. Like, 
bro, you go through what you got to go through if you really you really had plans on your mind and being the best you could be for that person. You know what I'm saying? Um, bite the bullet, man. Bite the bullet. Stop crying about the relationship different. You don't even cook no more. You don't, you know, you don't, you don't call me on my lunch break no more. You don't bite the fucking bullet, man. You ruined your relationship with her. Um, and, and she might not necessarily be out fucking or I mean, having sex, excuse me, like, 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 you know, doing shit with boy, like, you know, doing her thing, but, you know, somebody talking to her. <laughs> You gotta believe that. Somebody talking to her. If she just dealing with you, just because y'all had, you know, y'all been in a relationship, y'all been there, y'all used to each other, but you, you know, they messed up like that to that magnitude to where you hurt her. Yeah, she talking about the two, probably two to three dudes. Two of them, you know, she, you know, probably done experiment with it. Like, learn her body with it. Like, she know them, know them. You know what I mean? She know them, know them. She done got loose with them before. You know what I mean? This shit you got to know about females. And, yeah, man. Yeah. They always going to keep in their back pocket. Unless you met your old girl as a virgin. But then it's, it's other shit with that. But, you know, bite the bullet, nigga. If you know you fucked it up, don't complain about how different she is and what she don't do for you no more and why she talk to you crazy. If you know you, then, you know what I mean? You got dirt on your name or skeletons in your closet, you done cheated. Stop saying she tripping or she different when you done cheated. I can, I can say that shit. Not cause I, I mean, I done, I done been on both sides. I done been the recipient and I done been the goddamn door. And I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't bragging on the shit cause you know, you live and you learn. I see where my um, my my doings and my door, I see where my wrong, my doing, my doing wrong cost me a lot. Cost me a whole bunch. You know what I'm saying? And those was just dumb decisions. You know, hornball, horny. I've been having sex with the same person nine years. Like, I, I mean, I ain't fucked nobody else in, you know, in this nine year period. Like, it's like, well, damn, you know, like, you know, shit. Like, what I'm gonna do, like, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to say that. You know, people might feel different. You rocking with Coon. Bite the bullet. Stop, you know, stop trying to you know, uh, speed recover, like, you know, speedy trial, you know, stop trying to get a speedy trial with her feelings and emotions because she finna go through a whole bunch of them motherfuckers, you know, especially if y'all living together and, yeah, yeah, man, um, bite the bullet, man, move on, let her go. You heard her. Y'all can still be friends and talk, you know, care about each other, but she's going to, she, bro, she's never going to let it go. Never going to let that shit go. Especially if she was planning to be faithful, like, and love you, marry you, like, give you her all. Because women can do that. Like, they can kind of put that in their head to do that. And if you fulfill what you, if you make her feel secure and if you make her feel happy, good about herself and kind of give her life a purpose with your life, she will never hurt you emotionally. A real woman will never do anything with another man if she feels that with you and you uh, secure her like Give her that security. Give her that feeling of even feeling of security. If you can even give her that feeling of security, she will lock in her mind that she's gonna do right by you. 
you know. You know, I ain't saying that she won't start cheating if this ain't right, that ain't right. If I ain't saying that, I'm just saying, like, women got that ability to do that. Men, like, we kind of do. Like, we know we want you forever, but 